The altar. An altar is a structure upon which offerings such as sacrifices are made for religious purposes. Altars are found at shrines, temples, churches, and other places of worship. They are used particularly in Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, and ancient Judaism. Altar is a place where the divine and human worlds interacted. Altar is a place where something is offered, given, or received in an exchange. It's a place of communication, an influence. God responded actively to altar activity. An altar always represented a place of consecration. Altar is otherwise known as the table of the Lord, Malachi 1,7. Sacrifices were the instrument of exchange in altar interactions. An altar was often built to commemorate an encounter with God that had a profound impact upon someone. Abram Genesis 12:7, Isaac, Genesis 26:24-25, Jacob, Genesis 35:3, David, 1 Chronicles 21:26, and Gideon, Judges 6:24. New Testament's altars. We are no longer commanded to build physical altar but spiritual ones of prayer praises and worship unto God. Jesus the Ultimate Sacrifice Jesus Christ is considered as the ultimate sacrifice that puts us right with God and therefore we do not require any further sacrifice of material things to make atonement for our sins. Hebrew 10 1-14, 19-25, Hebrew 13 19 15 the Cross of Jesus When God instructed Moses to build the tabernacle so he could dwell among his people, God commanded that an altar be built. It was on this altar that the sacrifices foreshadowing the death of Christ were to be offered. Dead and Living Sacrifice In the Old Testament the people offered dead sacrifices, all sacrifices were dead when they were offered up unto God. Jesus Christ, died for our sins, and being risen again as the only true sacrifice that is acceptable unto God. Jesus is the only living sacrifice capable of atoning for sin. The New Altar Jesus spoke about the New Altar, John 4 19 19-24. What we are required now is to offer unto God fervent praises, worship, prayers, supplications unto God in spirit and in truth. Romans 12 1 Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God this is your true and proper worship. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, Offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2 5 Any area of our lives that is surrendered to the control of the Holy Spirit is laid on the altar before God. Consecration The burnt offering is a type of our consecration. Consecration is offering ourselves to God as a living sacrifice. Consecration is setting ourselves apart for God. It is not making a promise or a vow before God to do something for Him. Sacrifice was something set apart for God by being put on the altar. Whatever is offered to God, it no longer belonged to the one offering it. It belonged to God, for God's use and His satisfaction. Offer yourself to God as a living sacrifice. When we put something on the altar as a sacrifice, our right over it is over. We have no more control, whatever we put on the altar has to be burnt up. To be a living sacrifice, 
it means we yield full control and right to God. When we do that, our lives that previously for our use and our pleasure and contentment, now it is holy for God. Consecration means that you are to set yourself apart from evil, turn to the Lord, and be prepared to be used by God. As you consecrate yourself. You have to constantly and actively move away from every form of sin and anything that has the appearance of sin, and you will experience more involvement of God in your life. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Be the first to know. When new video is published, subscribe. Kingdom Pattern. At www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.